Hi all, Henry Lynch here once again, and we have uh, a number of concepts for you today. This is a sort of package video. Uh, I usually do just the, the one uh, painting per video, but uh, this time I painted them so quick uh, that I, I figured I'd just include a few. Um, so this first one, some weird lizard creature, uh, 10 minutes. The next one also 10 minutes, and then the final image took me 20 minutes. Um, but you can see my full process here. Um, obviously, for a, a uh, for finalizing a concept, th this would just be the f the first pass of a creature concept. I'd spend 10, 15, 20 minutes just designing some random creature, usually based on a location uh, that it's going to be, if I know that already. And um, I just drop down a load of squiggles and start painting. I'm not worrying about lighting, um, I'm worried about design and form. Uh, so in terms of form, obviously there is some lighting involved, but it's only suggesting forms it's nothing it's more ambient light and uh, ambient occlusion um, so yeah weird lizard thing I didn't I didn't know what creatures I was going to design um, so but I, I, I knew I wanted to make them quite different so you can see this one uh, I sort of was going for more of a bear type shape which I think I kind of got. I, mean, I didn't want it exactly to just draw a bear. Obviously, that would be kind of boring. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Yes. So, <laughs> uh, so this would be the first stage in the concept, uh, the first pass. Um, and I'd probably do two or three of these for one creature type um, to decide which version, which design I prefer, and then I would go forward and basically re-render it in the sense that I'd, I'd just spend more time on the design, um, making sure that it, it looked better, the textures on it looked accurate to what I was trying to put across, um, and that it didn't, didn't look quite as messy because 10 minutes, uh, I can certainly get an idea down, but it's not going to look nice, really. Um, so yeah, this one's kind of fun, bit of a weird, like, walrus bear or something, not sure, quite cool, a uh, bit out of nowhere. Um, and then we have the final design, and now this was the one I took 20 minutes on, but uh, you'll see, I start with Squiggle again, no idea what I was going to create. Um, but I think at this point I decided I was going to not do a creature. Uh, so you'll see me, like I'm just working with shapes, I just want to make it look good in terms of shape design. Um, and then I start making this and it looks a bit like a, a duck head or something and oh boy does he look happy here. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, I didn't know really what direction to go with this. Uh, but I kind of got the inkling that it looked like a sort of hero character, the way he's like side glancing at the camera. Um, so I went with that, I gave him a cape, um, and then I start just roughing in, um, roughing in a body. Um, and <laughs> it's a bit silly, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, but I don't know, it's quite interesting. Why not? Um, so there you go, my my superhero. Uh, I don't know what to call him. Give me some name suggestions in the comments, why not? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, bit weird. I do, I, I love the, uh, the that sort of curve on the head. Uh, type of design. I do that a lot with um, helmets especially. It's quite easy to do the curve over on like a sci-fi helmet. That that makes a really nice effect. Um, and occasionally I find myself actually adding that kind of uh, 
almost like a sort of, I guess it's kind of like a triceratops um, kind of flare off the head onto some of my creatures and stuff. Um, but I try not to use it too much, although I do like it. Uh, don't want to get samey. Uh, so you can see most of the time here, um, so it took twice as long as the other designs, but uh, most of that is correcting um, the anatomy um, and just adding adding sufficient detail where it's needed. Um, but obviously I want to focus to be on the head for the most part, since that was where I started. Uh, so that's got the most contrast and the most detail. Um, I also played with a bit of blur for a, for a moment, because it's supposed to be flying a bit. Um, but it didn't really work out. He kind of looks slightly blurred towards his legs anyway, which works out for me. Um, so yeah, here, here are all the final designs. Um, and you'll see in just a second, uh, a couple I didn't um, end up filming the process, but they took uh, maybe 20 minutes for each of these designs here. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and maybe you can learn something from my process. It's something I've learned from Anthony Jones, you should go check him out, Robot Pencil. Um, and it's also something I've just been developing for a little while now. It works very, very quickly, as you can see, uh, for getting concepts across very quickly. Um, just scribbles towards um, an idea and then quickly blocking out form. Um, I found it incredibly useful in my professional work um, and well and personal work as you can see <laughs> so yeah okay I'll see you next week bye